what is going on b scribers welcome back to a brand new video and uh we are obviously on the road to 1k uh just saying <laughs> but um i pretty much want to do a different sort of video which is pretty much why i should be starting a second channel because uh i've been like playing less battlefront not because of the battlefront but because i've been watching like a lot of movies lately and like a lot of tv shows just to kind of change my perspective on like I don't want to say life because like that kind of sounds weird but um i've been watching like just movies like maze runner and like i've watched um like this baby driver movie and i've watched like the second kingsman movie and like the movies so much didn't change my like perspective on life but um i've watched like uh on netflix it's called like the end of the fucking world and I've watched like 13 Reasons Why. And I've just kind of been watching some like, not deep shows, but just like, just some shows that show that not all lives are the same. Not everybody's life is perfect, pretty much. And um, it's just interesting. And I was thinking to myself, because when I typed in, usually after every time I watch a movie, I watch re a review for it. Usually I watch like Stuckman and Jeremy Johns just to see what they think and what the general fan base or community thinks about a certain movie or a show. But um, pretty much I was wondering why not everybody likes the same content. And pretty much here like I have um, like to discuss like 13 reasons why and not like just break them down but that and like Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead and like the Star Wars movies because Obviously, there's a huge part of the fan base that dislikes uh, Star Wars 8 and my reviews on the channel. So I've, I've given you why I think it's like a crappy movie. And it's solely because if you delete Finn and Rose's whole, whole scenes, like everything about them in the movie, it makes no difference on the outcome because the whole point of Finn and Rose was to prevent the first order from like tracking them and light speed but then everybody just left on the escape transports and then vice admiral holdo just like lights oh well spoilers obviously just like light speeded her ship through snoke's ship so really finn and rose did nothing in the entire movie and it was a huge waste of time and i've only heard one person ever say that they like finn and they said that they like Finn because he's a, quote, cool guy. And I'm not bashing the person who said that. But, like, I mean, I guess that's a reason why you can like somebody. But that's, like, the reason why I wanted to make this video on why people do and don't like the same thing. Because there's always two sides to something. At least two sides. So, for... There are people who say that they like a story for the plot and there's somebody that likes to be entertained and that's always going to separate people whether or not you're in it for the story or whether you're in it for the characters and that's just like a brief kind of I don't want to say description I feel like it's not the right word but that's just a brief explanation can I have a whole bunch of things here well not a whole bunch a couple things here to explain why people don't like that and um the first thing and the most obvious is if you don't like a subject, for example, 13 Reasons Why is about bullying and suicide, and Game of Thrones is about, like, dragons and executions and blood, and The Walking Dead's about zombies and survival, and Star Wars is about a whole bunch of things like, uh, like force and space and kyber crystals and all that kind of different stuff. So obviously, if you're not into a certain subject, you're not gonna reach out for it. This like, you know how Discovery Channel makes movies or movie shows about like the earth and animals and starvation and a whole bunch of stuff like that. So if you're not into that kind of stuff, it's, you're obviously not gonna like it, but that's the obvious one. I think the main problem I have with like the separation is people that ignore plot holes because there are a lot of people who there are plot holes and like uh stories that are sequential and they just if there's a plot hole that's pointed out there's people that say wow that's a plot hole that really hurts the story 
or and there's people that say oh wow that's a plot hole who cares i think that's really what separates a lot of fans is the people that say oh i don't care about that problem i don't care about that problem that cgi was crap but i don't care and then there are the people that go wow well, well, well why don't you care and i guess i'm one of the people who cares about plot holes and cares about cgi and cares about effort and writing and directing so i guess i can't really talk on the side of people that just ignore those kind of things so if you're listening to this and you are the type of person who just ignores plot holes and whatever is pooped on your screen you'll just accept it explain to me why and not to get into a whole like a whole bunch of examples but for example like i'll just give you a brief description in season eight of the walking dead there was a character carol who was forced to give up her her gun because she was like surrounded by saviors or enemies or whatever and she had a knife and there's a guy a savior with a gun and instead of which was the obvious thing to do was just to say hey slide me your knife or i will shoot you he like walked up to her and just tried to reach for the knife which is so unrealistic no one would do that when you have a gun because you have all the power so she just like takes out the knife grabs a full-grown man and puts a knife around his throat and threatens to kill him which is super dumb but there's half the people that will say that's unrealistic and it hurts their viewing experience and there's half the people that say oh well whatever who cares the writing isn't important which is strange but um that's the main point of this video there are like a few other reasons like for the people who don't watch at all if someone just watches a review and then just starts trashing or encouraging that show or movie or game or whatever because they don't watch or play it so they their perspective really isn't that wide and it's like that's i guess that's really dumb like if you don't watch a movie i don't know why you'd go around judging it if you don't watch a show why would you judge it and then um the last reason are there are people who see higher quality shows or games or movies I don't know if I said movies twice. Shows, movies, games that say, for example, if you watch Game of Thrones or Walking Dead, and I, I can't even really say Walking Dead anymore because that show's really fallen off, but I feel like Game of Thrones is really top notch. And a lot of people say the last season had plot armor, but their final season is going to murder everybody anyway. So the last season had plot armor so that everyone in the last season can get their justified death. So the plot armor really isn't going to last for very long. But if you watch something at a high quality, say for example you watch something in 1080p and then you go watch something in 480, you're not going to like it. But if you've only seen 480, you're not going to care because you haven't even seen something that's more improved than that. It's like a perfect example of the people who've seen the sequel, not the sequel, the original trilogy, and then you go watch the prequels. A lot of people growing up with the original trilogy aren't going to like the prequels, but if you've only grown up with the prequels and only seen the prequels, you'll like it a lot more. So, um, that's just my quick video on why do people not really agree on good, bad, um, why they're so different, why there's, like, such a split community within The Last Jedi right now. Because I was even typing in just to do some more research on why people don't like certain subjects all the same, and one of the top google searches was why don't people like the last jedi which is should be very obvious and if you liked that movie i want you to tell me in the comments why because again there's going to be people who where there's tons of plot holes where there's finn and rose can be deleted from the whole story it doesn't intertwine with anything it's just their sole story so for me i don't like finn as a character and i don't like rose because her sister sacrificed herself and then she just moved on from it and then Vice Admiral Holdo sacrificed herself so everyone could escape in the transport. Rose's sister sacrificed herself dropping the bombs on the First Order ship. And then she says to Finn, you shouldn't sacrifice yourself. Which completely contradicts everything we've watched in the whole movie. So that doesn't really make any sense to me. 
So if you're somebody where you watch two sacrifices, one of them is the character sister who says, don't sacrifice yourself. And you still say, well, who cares? I don't care if that happens. Then, if, and you're that person that says that you like the, 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 the movie, then that's fine. That's what I expect. Is for the person that types, I like this movie because I just ignore all the problems. That's what I expect. But if you do care about the problems, explain to me how it's possible that you could have liked this movie because it had so many contradictions. Um, I didn't grow up, obviously, with the original, well, not obviously, I'm, I'm 19, so I didn't grow up with the original trilogy. I grew up with the prequels, and I like the prequels, but I understand people who say Luke was a sign of hope. He was literally a new hope, and then you just turn him into this dude, and it wasn't, when I say you, it was solely Ryan Johnson, the director of 8, and his defense for his crap film that he just pooped on our theaters and on our TV screens is that, don't worry, J.J. Abrams, the director of 7 and 9, can just fix all these problems. And my last example is just like how Snoke is a hologram in 7 build up to be this super strong, powerful character who can't even be in the same room as Kylo and Hux because he's somewhere off doing his own thing. Well, now he's just chilling in his, th in his throne room doing nothing all day. Like, if he doesn't have Kylo and Rey, what is he doing? We don't even know what he was doing in 7. Does he just sit around all day and once Kylo and Hux leave, he just watches movies? What what does he do? So, tell me what you think about all these separations. Again, just to recap, it's uh, if you don't like the subject, if you don't watch the, the movie or show, people that ignore plot holes and ignore writing flaws, just flaws as a whole, and uh, people who've seen a higher quality of whatever it is and then the people who don't see that high quality so they have nothing to compare it to that's better so i know this was a different kind of video i've been ranting for a while i need to start my second channel already because i want to do reviews on all these things i've seen i have like a lot of thoughts on 13 reasons why and why that really it was really over exaggerated a little bit but um yeah the walking dead is poop and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make it this far type jolly rancher in the comments is fill it up with jolly rancher and uh let me know what you think about these things let me know if you like star wars 8 and uh we're on the road to 1k we'll be there soon hopefully i need to stream again i've uh obviously like i said been watching a whole bunch of movies and shows which is why i haven't been streaming but i made sure I, i'm still uploading every day i still play enough star wars to at least try to get videos because it's like i don't want to say it's difficult but a lot of them are just like um, um, like chicken walker spam and supercharged centuries and wookies and stuff. Um, but yeah, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And uh, as always, may pancake face be with you.